Hey guys, so we often talk about the present and short term future, but today we're setting our sights way further. In 2029, that's, that's five years from now. What you can expect for technology in the future. Let's go. Alright, let's start with Prime Air, Amazon's drone delivery program. Now this isn't as far into the future as we think, because right now, Amazon is already delivering with their drones in two towns, Lockford, California and College Station, Texas. But it's not going to stay like that. Amazon customers in the UK, Italy, and an additional US city will soon have the option to get their packages delivered by a drone. Their drones are pretty big, they weigh 80 pounds, but they can go up to 50 miles an hour and carry loads up to 5 pounds. And soon they're launching a new drone that's even smaller and is a lot quieter. The sound may not seem like an issue because of how high up they are, but I've seen these in person and they are pretty loud. It's like if an airplane were to fly over your head, but like every 5 minutes. It's not really painful, just annoying. So I'm not sure how commonplace this form of delivery will be in 5 years. But it's definitely going to change the way that we think about shipping. Okay, I don't know if you're the news or not, but California actually is banning the sale of gasoline-fueled cars by 2027, and a bunch of states are mirroring this legislation. I hate to say it, but this could be the final decade of gasoline cars, as they're starting to be phased out, as the roar of engines on our roads are replaced by the hum of electric vehicles, EVs. And it looks like the global sales of electric vehicles is going to hit over 12.5 million by 2029. And I know when we talk about transportation, you think of roads, but the future also affects the skies. Commercial airlines are dabbling in the same fuel used to power cars, electricity. Look at United Airlines. They're going all in with orders of 515 new kind of electric aircraft. And they'll be ready to transport passengers by late 2024. That's just a year from now. So in five years, you might even be able to book a middle-class flight in an electric vehicle. That's pretty cool. You know what else is pretty cool? Clicking that subscribe button down there. If you want to be like super cool, like I, like you're already really cool. But if you want to be like even cooler, for real though, it takes a lot of work to make these videos. So if you could subscribe just for one click, it would really help out the channel. Thanks. 2029 is going to showcase some awesome things, like the Kingdom Tower. It's set to be the world's tallest building at a thousand meters. It definitely deserved a spot in the video, at least for me, because by 2029, it should be completed. And frankly, I can't wait to see the next tallest building in the world. That's one thing about me, I, I really like tall buildings. I just look at the tall building, I go, that's a tall building, and I really like them. So, that's kind of exciting for me, because I get to live to see the new tallest building. Now let's talk about everyday tech, like, you know, small stuff. Think about our smartphones and how they're going to look in 2029. I have no idea what kind of technology is going to be packed into the Galaxy S29, iPhone 21, or Pixel 14. But beyond better cameras and faster processors, we might see entirely new form factors and advanced AI capabilities. Duh. And perhaps some devices that can make today's smartphones completely obsolete. Apple Vision Pro. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like or maybe even subscribe. And if you did like this video, then you'll probably enjoy this one. It's about tech that you can get right now, not in five years, but today for under $30. Peace.